So I got sick and tired of seeing videos of slaughtered rhino and had that one of those sort of thoughts at three o'clock in the morning. Maybe I could do something about it. Maybe I could use the tools that I've learned over the years from radiation protection and nuclear security to develop something different. And here we are six years later. Developed to the use of radioisotopes to devalue rhino horn. So you're using radioactive material, small quantities of it, inserted into the horn of a rhino, which is like then putting a massive bright light into the horn that no one can turn off. It stays there, and as it goes across borders, the detectors are in place that can pick it up. And it's then, you know, because, as we said earlier, you know, um, those detectors have been installed for other reasons reasons but just as capable of picking up the rhino horn as they are smuggled nuclear material. So we had a system in place, we just needed to find a way to utilise it. The process uses less drugs than dehorning, is significantly less um, stressful for the animal, less stressful for the individuals. You know, because no veterinary surgeon wants to dehorn a rhino. It, it, it's, you know, it's unnatural and you know, nature has spent time growing that horn on the animal for some reason. So presumably the rhino needs it so you know dehorning is the kind of solution of last resort the whole project was to find the right isotope at the right activity concentration um, to put in the horn which, which would set off the detectors but also you know not harm the animals and so there's a lot of effort here and elsewhere in the world working with colleagues in America and places like that to identify that quantity which then to start off with we didn't even know existed but now here we are we know what we need to put into the horn and we know it sets off the detectors <laughs> Like my child in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 <laughs>